right, all set for the battle of Palembang. And uh, here's our combatants. Since there's an ambush, we get to fire first. So we'll be firing with uh, 38 naval factors and 20 air factors. Naval factors will be coming from these units here. The air factor is coming from our carrier. Uh, what is that? The North Hill. Oh, uh, oh, Indomitable. And our air unit right outside of the uh, attack, ha our battle hacks. So we'll be rolling our die for effectiveness, and we'll get a plus four on this die roll. Looking for a high number. Oh! Four. So it'll be an eight. Over here to the... Oh, so that'll be a one. One on one. So we will be hitting them with 58 hits. Ouch. That is killer. All right, we'll see how we divide the hits up. We can only divide them up with... Uh, amongst this ship and this air unit. Oh, where's he at? There you go. If we had escorting ships we can apply hits here but we will find out what happens and a lot depends on if these guys make it on through uh we'll be right back all right let's see if we can get these battle results right this time 58 hits we got to spread out for the japanese uh land and air yamato will take 18 and the air unit will take 10 that flips them both over that's a total of 28 hits out of 58 that means we got 30 hits left to apply to him again he'll take 18 destroys the Yamato with his 18 10 destroys the air unit with uh, two hits left over don't do nothing but yeah it takes care of them <laughs> Wow uh, let me see what goes on here we got to uh, see what the surviving factors are right back all right so the, uh, the surviving factors are just going to be oh 26 yeah we'll be firing for 26 we'll put 26 factors down here for a Japanese player that's all he can muster now <laughs> he's lost uh, the battleship and the air unit so now for his effectiveness die roll he will not be getting any modifiers because he was the ambushed not the ambusher and he's looking for a high number, and the Japanese have gotten killed on these rolls, and nothing's looking, it ain't looking too much better for them. Four. Oh, only half of their strength. So 26. They only get to apply 13 hits onto the uh, allied player. Oh, what are we going to do here? I guess. As the Japanese player, we'll put... We'll flip him over. Destroy, or we'll just flip him over for 12. We applied 13. Won't do anything to anybody else. But yeah, we want to take out the Mississippi, so that'll be it. 13 hits, 12. No more to, can be applied. That'll be wasted. So there you go. We'll add up the factors. This will have a, a big impact on whether these guys land or not. If they got more attack factors, if they won the battle, they get turned back. We'll be right back. All right, Japanese 2450 allies. 7, 9, 14 for the allies. Another 10. Another 10 here. Uh, Japanese factors. 14, 12. That's it. So uh, these boys here are getting turned back. They wouldn't even land. We might as well just call it a game against the Japanese because they are having the worst luck. But we'll, uh, it just makes it more of a a challenge to see if I can get him to come back or if the bot can get him to come back I think I could have played better than Erasmus just playing as best as I could on my ability but we're seeing how he does and everything but uh, and it, it really ain't the bot's fault they've had some bad luck some bad die rolls and some bad card draws and it ain't over yet for the uh, Japanese player all right we'll be right back all right post battle and these uh, Japanese units will have to find some place to go. They'll just get a post-battle movement. Uh, if we would have had units already on land that could have moved in by land, there would have been a uh, land battle. But as it is, old Yamato, Yamato got sunk. 
<laughs> there's air support, so there's he, he's, they're turning back. God, it's a bad, that's a bad luck schmuck for the Japanese. They're definitely getting their butts kicked. Uh, it ain't over. We get to do this during an offensive after combat against any active Japanese Navy unit. Blah blah blah. blah. I declared to roll one die. Is all right. So I'm looking for a zero to seven, eight or nine. Here we go. Well, zero to seven, and we sink one of their ships. Oh, we apply a hit. Let's see what it says here again. Uh, yeah, but, 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 well, Japanese lose one naval step. Ally chooses can eliminate the unit. Oh, we can eliminate the Amato on a roll from zero to seven. Here we go. Three, yes. Amato. Uh, well, was it the best thing to do, though? Well, I think so because, yeah, if you flip them over, they still got their defense strength. Your motto's gone. Your motto's gone, sunk by a submarine attack. <laughs> All right, well, let me show you the before and after post battle movement. And the after. All right, everybody back to their spots. I forgot what I did with that. I think it took the infantry unit. Oh, okay. Our main. Port was we moved them back here just in case there's any brisky business going on land with these units here trying to take our important little port here and our resource at Victory Point Hex. So we beefed this up with these units today. Move back here, air unit stayed where it was at at the airfield, which is kind of risky. Might have to get us an emergency move if they move out in there, but we're unprotected. But we had to go there anyway to uh, give our air support. But that will be it for the card play. Two cards played for the Allied player and one for the Japanese. We'll be right back. All right, then the state of the map. Here we are. And uh, every attack the Erasmus bot has tried offensives have failed, and it failed bad. Bad luck schmucks. Uh, time for the Allied player to take advantage. We have uh, uh, four cards. One thing, too, about it is my first card, hand of cards, was all military, almost totally military. We just got rid of two reaction cards. We had another one, one political. But, yeah, it's kind of the luck of what you got with the card draw. I don't think he's got any reaction cards. As a matter of fact, we'll look over his hand real quick just to see. And I think he's got he's got all political cards, Ain't, almost all political cards. So there you go. I think they're, they're in order here, too, so we got to keep them in order. But uh, there you go, just a little drop it on the game. I'm going to go ahead and play a few more turns and I'll let you guys know what happens but that was it. Having more fun than a human being should be allowed to have on turn three. Be back. <laughs>